Yo, how's it going everybody and welcome back to this Material UI course. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to work with a chips component in this library. This is what we're going to be building right here. It's a simple array of chips that has different stylings, has different types of icons, and some of them are and are not deletable. So if I click on this X, these get deleted, but this React one does not. But this one right here does. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so I've opened up the documentation for the chips component and they're very simple to understand. Uh, most front-end libraries already have them implemented into their components, such as Ant Design, Material UI, Mantine. All those libraries have uh, chips available. And so what chips are is a small amount of information that can be either selected, filter, have trigger reactions, or enter a basic amount of information in a small compact chip. So this is one of the examples that they have right here. There's These are two different variants that they have. There's a chip that is basically filled, and there's one that has a simple outline. So like I was saying earlier, there's different types of actions that you can apply to your chips. You can make them clickable, deletable. Um, you can make them link to someplace else. And you can also have different types of icons for your delete icons. So let me just show you what you have right here. So it's really simple. If you want to make the clickable, if you want to make a clickable chip, all you have to do is apply the onClick property and then it can be clickable and inside of the function you can apply whatever you want you, you can either have a console log you can make a delete you can do whatever you want after that we have the deletable uh prop so if we want to delete a chip we can add the on delete right here and it'll add a automatic icon this x icon right here to all of our chips that we have the on delete props for and after that we can do both clickable and deletable so they're using both on click and on delete prop right here after that we can also link our uh our chip if we wanted so it's simple um, we can change it to a simple component and anchor tag and then we can send it to wherever we want and after that we can also do a custom delete icon like I was talking about earlier if we wanted to so in this case I have a, uh, have a check mark and a trash can after that we have some adornments if we wanted to apply to our chips so basically we can add icons if we wanted to our chips besides the deletable icons. So in this case, they have a simple avatar icon right here. And the way that you would use this, all you would have to do is you have to apply the avatar prop and you can give it either a basic avatar with a letter right here, or you can give it a custom avatar with an image. We'll be covering avatars later in this course, so don't worry about it if you don't understand how to work with this for now. After that, they have a simple uh, example, which is an icon. And we have some coloring if we want it available to our chip. So we have primary, success, uh, info, and all the other colors that are available for this library. And after that, we can also apply sizes to our chips if you wanted. All you have to use is size prop right here. And this is what we're actually going to be building right here, this uh, chips array. And we're going to have our own custom avatars, uh, deletables, and uh, custom coloring into it as well. Uh, but don't worry about this right now. I'll show you guys how to implement this later. And finally, we have the chip playground. This is fairly similar to how you would see something in uh, the Mantine library, uh, where you can actually live edit a chip, and you can apply it into your app right down here, this code. And lastly, scrolling to the very bottom, we have the API right here. This API contains all of the imports, component name, and props, and the CSS is available for this component. So there's a whole lot of different props available to us. We'll cover some of them in this tutorial. And after that, we have the CSS right here, and just a simple demo as well. So without further ado, let's actually go ahead and get our hands dirty with this component and let's work with it. Alrighty, so I've opened up the app that we've been building in the last couple of videos. And the first thing that I'm going to do is we're going to connect our routes. So we have a new component made for our chips component. So what I'm going to do is inside of my components folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'll call it chips.js. And just if so we have some content, I'm going to copy whatever we have from our card.js file and paste it into here. We'll change the names right here just so we have some distinctions. So I'll do chip example, chips example, and I'll type in here chips, just so we know that everything is connected properly. And after that, inside of our app bar, next thing is we need to apply it into our pages array right here. So I'll just do chips like so. And finally, scrolling down into the app.js file, we're going to apply our route right here. So I'll copy this route and I'll just paste it down here and I'll call it chips. And the element is going to be chips example like so. And so now if we go back into our app, we should see a chips array right here, a chips link right here, and it guides us probably to the proper uh, component. Let's just make sure our drawer is working as well. Perfect. Alrighty, so let's go back into our app and let's go ahead and import a simple chip into our library. So how do you import a chip? It's really simple. All you have to do is use the chip tag available to us from the library. You can either do a self-closing brace or a uh, 
a, a double close brace like that right there. Um, but I'm gonna do a self closing brace for now. And what I'll do is I'm gonna give it a variant and we'll give it the variant of outline. And it looks like we don't actually have that imported. There we go. And just so we have some information, I'll type in here label. And for this label, the information we'll give it, let's call it basic chip boy. And if we go back into our app, we should see a basic chip right here, basic chip boy, perfect. But if you wanted to make our chip clickable and deletable, all you would have to do is you would have to use a prop on delete, do it to delete and uh, get that uh, X icon. But if you wanted to do a clickable link, all you would have to do is on click. And that's about it. So you would need to actually apply some sort of functionality inside of here, some function inside of this. So I'll just do const on delete is equal to just an empty function. And I'll do the same thing for on click. So I'll just do on click like so. Let's go ahead and apply those functions right here. So on delete and on click. There we go. And so now if we go back into our app, we'll see that we can click our actual chip and we also have the icon right here. So now let's actually go ahead and make that example that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And it's really simple. Don't, don't get intimidated by it, it's very, very easy. So at the very top, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a use state variable and it's gonna contain an object, which is gonna contain, uh, it's gonna contain an array of objects, which in those objects is gonna contain all of our information for our chips. So what I'll do is const chip data and set chip data is equal to use state and it will be an array and inside of here we can give it an object like so and so what I'll do is I'll give it a key initially of zero we'll give it a label and we'll just put in some basic uh, basic technology so I'll do angular I'll do color so remember how we saw in our API that we have different types of colors available to us um, in this case what I'll do is I'll give it a color of red and I'll give it an icon and for icon let's select analytical analytics outlined like so and we'll just go ahead and copy we'll copy this object a few times let's copy it five times and for this key I'll call it one two three and four for this label I'll call it react for this one whoops I'll call it uh, WordPress uh, PHP and let's call this one Java. And for the color, let's do blue, since uh, React is blue. WordPress, I think it's also white and blue, so I'll just put in here, let's put in here gray. Why not, let's do gray. And PHP, I don't actually remember if there's an icon for PHP, I'm, I'm guessing it's like pink or something. Uh, Java, it's basically hell, so I'll just put in here black. Um, I don't like Java, I do not. Not a, not a, I'm not a huge fan of it, but anyways, so email outlined uh, for the next icon, let's call it uh, face to tone. Uh, let's do a phone Android icon. And finally, uh, let's see if there's a Java icon. We have a JavaScript icon. It's close enough, but they're not at all the same thing. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our ability to actually delete a chip whenever we run this on delete function right here. So all we have to do for that is we need to give it a parameter initially of chip to delete. So this will select the certain chip that we selected to delete from the actual chips array object right here. And what I'll do is I'll give it another function call like so. And inside of there what we'll do is we're gonna be setting our chip data to be able to filter depending on the key that we're giving it. So if the chip.key is not equal to the chip.delete key, filter it out. Already now that we've created our delete functionality. Let's go ahead and actually loop through all of our objects of chips right here. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of this chip variant. And what I'll do is I will create a simple map function. So I'll do chip dot data dot map. And inside of the map, I'll just do data and we'll call a function. And I'll do return curly braces. And inside of there, this is where we're gonna be listing all of our uh, chips. So I'll do list item. And inside of the list item, whoops, not IT, item, we'll give it a key is equal to data dot key. And inside of here is where we are going to be rendering our chips. So we'll do chips with a self-closing brace like so. 
and the props that we're going to give it. Let's start off with the icon. So for that, I'll just do icon is equal to data dot icon. After that, let's do a label. And for the label, really simple, data dot label. And on the on delete functionality, what we're going to do is on delete. We're, wanna, we're gonna want to run our on delete function. So I'll do on delete. This calls our function. And inside of there, we have to pass the actual chip that we want to delete. So I'll do data. And after that, we'll do style. And for the style, we'll give it a background color. And we'll call data dot color like so. Perfect. Alrighty, so testing it out, we can actually see that we have our chips rendered right here. We have the different types of technologies with the actual icons and the delete functionality. So I click on X, it'll delete the Angular. If I click on this one, it'll delete PHP. This is really Java, this is really React. Now let's go ahead and actually specify a certain label. So like, let's say if it's equal to Angular, we don't want to allow the user to delete it. Or let's say if it's equal to WordPress, we don't want to display a certain icon. So that's really simple. All you would have to do is we can use a Terranary operator for this case. All you would have to do is let's say we want to target the actual label. So I'll do data dot label is equal to, let's say it was equal to Angular. And initially, if it's equal to Angular, then we'll just display as undefined. But if it's not, then we'll actually display the icons. And for the label, let's say uh, if the label is actually equal to react let's say we want our label to be called not well, let's say not react to confuse the user as much as possible and if it's not equal to react I'll just do data dot label like so and for the on delete functionality this is also really simple let's say we want to uh, not delete PHP and all we have to do is data dot label we can select uh, if it's equal to PHP and if it is equal to PHP let's say we can just do undefined but if it is not oops, undefined like so and if it's not then we'll delete it so now if I go into the app we'll see that some of them have the actual deletable property some of them actually have different text so this one used to be react but now it's not react and this one doesn't have an icon Alrighty, before we conclude this tutorial, let's just go ahead and quickly put everything in one line and in the center. So in th right below the div tag, I'll just put a paper tag. And this paper tag is just going to contain a simple styling property with display flex and justify content center like so. Perfect. Alrighty, that concludes this tutorial. It was fairly simple. I hope that you now understand how to work with the chip component. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.